Now for Edinburgh Festival, which kicks off next week. Comedy fans will be witnessing some of the country's best stand-up. And a little earlier tonight, two of this year's hottest acts, the award-winning Aussie comic Brendan Burns and Felix Dexter, who you may remember from his characters on BBC Two's Bellamy's People, came into the studio to tell us what we could look forward to. But first, they made fun of our state-of-the-art television news studio. Very good. Hi. Greetings can't help but feel yes. sitting in this room that I've done something really wrong. It's only BBC News. It's not a jail. It's not a prison. What's wrong with it? She was dead when I got there. <laughs> He's already started with the jokes. <laughs> it's actually a little bit like a, an aircraft hangar. It's, it's, it's vast. It's an very aircraft vast. hangar? I was expecting something a little bit more intimate and uh, personal. Okay, well, yeah. we like it. This is the way it's staying, <laughs> okay? We're not having a special set for you. Um, Brendan, we'll start off with you. You returned to the Edinburgh Festival after it's for, it's for the 14th year, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Oh, well done. You know better than me. Yes, 14th year. 1996 um, was the first time I went, yeah. Yes, and it's got a title which I can't repeat on BBC News. Yes, that's right. So tell me all about it. I like to make life difficult for myself. Yes, I know you do. It's basically a comic love letter about uh, finding my place in the world. And, and your failures my... with women? Kind of, yeah. And my understandings and beliefs therein. Okay, so because being a comic working in Britain, I get a lot more peer pressure from atheism than I do religion. Why? Just because everyone's atheist, and my take well, in on Britain. it. in Britain? Pretty much, yeah. And my take on it is that when it comes to Felix the nature, Felix is nodding. Of, yeah, <laughs> well, when it comes to the nature of being in the beginning of the universe itself, I'm given one of three options: either I'm religious, atheist, or agnostic. And even Facebook, when asked if you're in a relationship, affords the opportunity to tick. It's complicated. So I think three answers is enough. OK. Felix, you are back in Edinburgh. Now, you have got some of those great characters from Bellamy's People. Yes, I have. I'm, back. I, I'm, I'm doing sorry. a show called Multiple Personalities in Order, yep. starring three of the characters that I did on Bellamy's People, one of which is uh, Julius Olufemwe, who is a, uh, a kitchen uh, management and the, <laughs> uh, a, a student of, of uh, hotel management as well. You know, And I must say I was uh, very impressed with the story about the uh, Churchill's teeth, you know? Because yeah. for a long time I thought that the war was about the soldiers, but no, it was about the dentures, isn't it? Eh? Was it about the dentures? Well, let's <laughs> let's play actually um, a clip of you from Bellamy's People, BBC Two, that we saw early in the year, telling us why you love Britain. Okay. This is the country of Shakespeare. It's the country of Byron. Mm. It's the country of Keats. This is the country of Churchill. This is the country of Jimmy Savile. You know? Mm. Now then, now then, now then. Yeah. I mean, how can you not enjoy that? Now then, now then, now then. How's about that then? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Tops of the Pops. Songs of Praise. Antique Red Show. Mm. How can I not love this country? This is a glorious manifestation to me of yeah. humanity in action. And I praise it to the fullest. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, he's going to be there as well, as well as Early D, you know, who's the Lion of Halsden, you understand? Halsden. Halsden. Oh, sorry, Halsden. Sorry, I'm getting it he's all wrong a, here. He's a proper, what you call, entrepreneur. You know, that's a French word, yeah? Yeah. And, like, uh, I, I'm hoping to go on, uh, on Duggan's Den and meet Duncan Batanan and all them people there, you know? Oh, because right. I feel the future for me is like, like, you know, Billy Gate and Michael Scoff, all them kind of thing there. <laughs> that's, my, that's where I'm moving forward. So he's going to be there as well, understand? Brilliant. Moving back to you, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> You've got that new book. There's this quote that I read about you. You say, um, you're more grown up now. Do I? Yeah, you say, I'm more grown up with my humour. D does the book reflect that, the new book? No. No, no, no. It was probably written in uh, a great deal of hindsight. And, uh, and what's this book about? Because it's about your, your it's, travels. Isn't I don't know it? if you can say it on the news, can you? So, uh, don't, no swear words. But no you swear can, words. Yeah, as long as it's just words. It's basically uh, back uh, when I was doing a lot of mushrooms. Okay, right. And yeah. you're going to cut me off now? Or? No, I won't. No, oh, okay, you can cool. Carry on and uh, it was uh, during a rather delusional vision that yeah. I went in pursuit of a photograph so that oh, I right. could be that guy in the photograph. Yeah. And then I went mad. Yeah. And uh, so the book is kind of a, a, a stand up road story one long road story over the course of seven days about many vegetables including mushroom <laughs> that's right okay both of you make us laugh for a living who makes you laugh mm. what makes you laugh uh i'd say probably i'm a big fan of of brendan uh i mean he's just like no the pressure most amazing the sick of no pressure. Amazing. <laughs> yeah come on mate i'm waiting and yeah uh, <laughs> I, I based my entire career upon the work of felix dexter <laughs> i actually i i'll get a plug in for a mate uh, my buddy Mark Marin, American Comics in town. I'm going to go and see him tonight. He's very funny. He makes me laugh. Well, enjoy the next month. It's my mum's pretty, pretty funny. Tough. 
Yeah, mum's fine. My one. dad's quite a bigot. Yeah, OK. He's a, he's a... <laughs> Enough now. Now, enjoy the next month at Edinburgh. I'll try and come up Congratulations and see you guys. on the book, by the way. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. much. Well, as you can see, I just cut them short because they ended up plugging each other's shows, books, friends, family, the entire lot. And you can catch Felix Dexter and Brendan Burns at the Edinburgh Fringe next month. That is all the entertainment news for now. And we'll be back tomorrow at the same times of 6.30 and 9.30 with lots more showbiz for you right here on BBC News. Do join us then. Back to you, Julia. Did you enjoy that? I did that enjoy that. Risky, it? it was always risky talking to comedians. It is. But, I said uh, no swear words. That was the main well, thing. Well, they, they stood by that. Yes. Uh, Tasmin, thank you very much thank indeed. You.